Hi there, Steve here again, uh, in the CAR room, so getting a nice view of a purple wall at the moment. I've uh, got the iPad here, and uh, I'm going to show the... Oops, let's click the button. Here we go. got the iPad, and I'm just resting it here on the old computer. What we need to do is to control the Hyperdex as if we were going to record on them, all simultaneously, ganged, and that's Hyperdex 1 to 5. So. I'm going to push the button, hopefully let me log in. Again, just like the uh, Mac Mini, the password is admin, so A-D-M-I-N, hit done, and it logs in. And there's only a couple of icons down below. One is VNC, which you can use for controlling the Mac Mini if you wish to. The other one is this little black icon, which is for hyper control. It's a third party app. Um, and uh, it does precisely what we want it to, which is control multiple hyperdecks all at the same time. So, uh, well, hopefully when you launch it, you will see four sets of transport buttons. There is a fifth. You can scroll up and down. Sorry about the strange angle. I'll try and get word right out. There you go. So you can scroll up and down. Oh, I've got one recording already. That's naughty. There. Okay, so you can scroll up and down. Try and click in an area which is not a button, which is what I've not been doing just now. Okay, and as you can see, you've got uh, take transports controls. So you've got play, next clip, previous clip, next clip, record, fast forward and rewind within the clip, that sort of thing. Crucial buttons here are these little green ones here. These are the ones that tell you to gang or not to gang. Okay. I haven't put Hyperdeck 6 on this, so you don't worry about whether that one gangs or not. It's only set up to record onto 5 Hyperdecks. So there you go, it's recording onto 5 Hyperdecks. If you push this little blue eye, if I can get really close without losing a lot of focus, there's a little blue eye on each transport right about, where is it, just about there. I don't know if you can see it. So if I zoom out, you can get an idea. It's a little blue eye, and you see what that does is it opens out a list of things that are stored on that particular set of storage. In this case, it's disk two, or drive two. What is it set two? Set two and set one. So you can click on those, and those are differentiated between the two different players, the two different SSD drives in the Hyperdeck unit. So as you can see, it's set two and set one. They've both got different things on them. Okay. So that last quick little recording went on to set two. Fine. So you can actually tell it which drive you want to record to in each case. So in this case, I'm going to record it on to the first drive in each case. So I'm going to push blue there. And I want to record it onto the first drive. Push blue again, and it will disappear. There we go. This one, first drive. In fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to be a little bit awkward here. I'm going to set it to record on the first drive on the bottom three, but on the top two, I'm going to record it on the second drive. Just to be pedantic, and just to show that you can actually get them to record in different places at different times. Even if you record all at the same time, they can go onto different drives. So, there you go. Those are all set. Uh, they are called Deck 1, Deck 2, Deck 3, Deck 4, Deck 5. Those will go into the file name along with the date and timestamp. And that's what these things control here. Use the deck names, use time and date. So when you, can, when, you can, when you capture a file, it should store with date and time and the deck number. Okay, so you can always go back to it later. And with all these gang buttons turned on, you don't use the transport, transport settings that are on this side, you use these ones up here. And those are the ones that you use to control everything that's ganged. So, to give you an idea, we're going to start recording in a moment. There's just one thing I want to check, and you should check it too. Go up to the hyperdecks themselves and make sure... Okay, in this case we don't have cameras on everything, so you would normally push and hold the input button to make sure there is some sort of source getting to each of those top five hyperdecks. I don't know what's happening with camera, camera 3 and camera 1. They may not be in operation yet. So we may not actually record anything at all, but normally you would have those lights switched on. Okay, but we have on five and four and two. So there you go, you can see. Number two has, number four has, number five has. Remember, ignore six. We're not gonna do anything with six in this, in this instance. Okay, 
just about to time out, I think. Or do we keep going? No, we keep going. Right, so they're ready to go. All the, all the decks we're going to record on, as always, will all be in remote. So, if I come back down to my little iPad and I push the record button here on this side. Oops, no, not fast forward. I want to stop. Right, so I want to push record. And you see the record lights light up on all of them. They should light up on all of them. Oh, it's not recording on the two which don't have inputs. Remember, some of them don't, a couple of them don't have inputs. It's smart enough to realise that they don't have inputs on those two, so it's not going to record nothing. It's going to also always not want to record something. So there you go. Four and five and three I had set to record on this drive. One and two I'd set to record on that drive. So you can see what happens when you record. The light goes red, not green, and all the record lights are on. And you can actually see there's some pictures. Uh, there isn't actually a picture on number one, it's just a reflection. But um, same thing with number two, but there, there are signals getting through to some of the decks and you can see what ganging does. So if I come back down here and push stop. Yeah, okay, they all stop. You see they've all stopped. I'll try and hold the seat over here so you get an idea. So I will start the recording. And you see I can scroll up and down. Yep. And I will stop the recording by pushing stop. There you go, it stopped. That's all there is to it. That is how you control all five hyperdecks at once and record on all five hyperdecks at once. And just to give you an idea, if I go to one of the ones that was doing a recording and I look at. Uh, which one was it? Was it. Um, was it number one we were doing a recording on? Let's have a look at deck four. There we go. There you go. 2017. I don't think you can sort of focus on that. 2017, 0216, 452, deck four. And that was our recording that we made just now. Okay. That's how they should look with the date stamp, the timestamp and the deck name. Deck four in this case. And I think deck five hopefully will have the same sort of thing. There you go. 070216. Same things. Alright. That's all there is to it.